Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away and am I a glutton for punishment? I've just done issue 48, it's now the afternoon and now I've decided I'm going to do issue 49 as well. Issue 49 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, let's just move this great big unit over. Um, actually, let's just show you this. Uh, I've tidied the wires up since you last saw it. So it looks like that now. How cool is that? See? Really good. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought, to be honest with you, I have to say. It just took forever to do. <laughs> so as long as you're patient, you'll be all right. Uh, okay, so this is issue 49. As you can see, these are the parts we got. It's just the cables going down the center and some seat belts. And unlike the 29 steps of the last issue, we've just got um, 10, 16, 16 steps. So that's all we've got to do in this issue. So but without further ado, let's uh, cut this bag open and just see what goodies we've got inside here. Excellent, and just tip them all out. There we go, nothing left in here, nothing left in here. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we've got one seat belt, two seat belts, some IP screws, AP screws, GP screws, some of these little plastic tab things, which I believe are gonna be holding some wires in behind the dashboard where I put the cable ties, so that's gonna be interesting. We've got four of them. We've got a little one, they're the fiddly ones, those little ones, and then we've got, uh, God, like this bit of cable here, let's just straighten this out a little bit, uh, which is all colored and stuff like that. We've got another one here, which is more colors. Uh, this one's more oranges and yellows compared to the blues and reds of that one. Uh, then we've got uh, a black lead, I guess. Uh, another black lead, or we've got quite a few of these actually, and these ones are stuck together. Why are these stuck together? Uh, I'm gonna check, are these meant to be stuck together? These are meant to be stuck together. Look, mine are stuck together. There we go. Let's broke them apart. So that's two, three, uh, another one without any things on, another one of these little leads here, and some cable ties, and more cables. This looks terrifying. Okay, well, let's get this over then and go to step one, which will be a nice easy thing, I'm hoping. Show you on this camera. We're going to be putting seatbelts into these uh, bits here and here. Uh, seat belts are going to be secured in with IP screws. This is step one. I think we just need to make sure that we actually put them on the right way. So we put the, uh, just tip the IP screws out. Um, the seat belt for, I'm just seeing what way round they go actually. So, right. Okay. Let's show you this. It's got a little like a uh, L shape in it. The L shape is basically going to face outside of the, uh, the the unit that it's going to. So, for example, for this one here, just checking it's round the right way. It looks like it's round the right way. They want this one to be going in this way here. And let's just put the next one in. And the next one, same sort of thing. You've got like a little bit of a screwed, screwed plastic there as well. It's going to be going in the other way, just like that. Um, I just want to double check I've got them in the right way because the way that they've got them is when it's lying flat you you haven't got this side out of the unit you've only got that side there um, I've just noticed actually that my camera's a little bit dull so I'm just going to uh, make the main camera a little bit brighter should have checked that at the start really shouldn't I so let's just uh, up the gain just a touch there we go I'm sure that looks a lot better um, yeah so what we do is we'll get these in I think this is going to be a little bit fiddly because even though it's got a uh, sort of like a hole for it to go in, I'm going to start the screw going first, I think, like that, and then put it on. Because this does look fiddly. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to see it very well. Hopefully on the top camera you might because uh, trying to get this balanced in here, I think it's proving a little bit of a nightmare. All right, okay, so if I hold that in, with my fingers there and then push it down and then move it over to where it needs to go. There we go. This will be the first one in. Excellent, we have got one seat belt in. Woo! <laughs> okay, now second seat belt. Again, IP screw. It was far, far easier to load these up first off. So again, I'm gonna put the screw in the hole. Just like so. And then once again, sort of, ugh, <laughs> it's a pain, isn't it? 
sort of put it down with my hand and push it down with the uh, where it goes okay and that's the second one in excellent we've got two seat belts in now and they're in absolutely perfectly looking good i am just to show you on the camera this way around there we go so two seat belts in and on the side camera okay once the seat belts are in we're going back to putting cables in and the cables it wants me to use here are uh, 49 d e and f and that's basically one of the black ones with a plastic on the end uh sort of like a red and uh red and black lead and then this one here which is a oh it's a mixture i'm just gonna twist this so i don't get them lost <laughs> Because we've got to thread these through the dashboard, basically, and back out uh, to the back unit over there. And they're going to be running down this side of the vehicle, the side with the uh, little... Uh, let's see if you can see this on the side camera, the side with these bits here. It's going to be running down this side. So what we're going to do is, um, just so you know, the bits with the plastic in, you see the plastic ends there, and the same on this one, uh, they're going to be going at the back of the vehicle. So you can use them, I suppose, to thread through. Now, it's probably going to be easier to thread through the back of the unit here and then come out the front. Uh, and I'm guessing it's gonna be easier to do one at a time. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna put one in first. See if we can get that out. Right, yep, we've got one in. Yes, <laughs> you just know this is gonna be painfully hard. Second one, let's see if that was gonna be any easier. All right, so the second one. Yes, we've got the second one in. So as you can see, we've got the wires at the back and we've got the uh, the ends of the plastic in out this side. And then the third one, which is going to be harder because this hasn't got one of these plastic ends. So I'm going to uh, try and feed it in between the ones we've just done. Get in there. Oh, I fiddled. I fiddled. Go on, get in, get in. Can I see it? I can't see it. Right, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> oh God, this is hard. Right. Get in there, please. Ah, that one's in as well. So we've got that one in as well. So that is the three cables in at the back there. Now, because I've got mods, these cables I'm gonna probably put over the mods because they're going to be attached. This is the next stage. Uh, step four, uh, Step four. we're gonna be attaching it between, oh, let's show you this. Hopefully they won't fall out. Um, we've got two, if I get it in the right light, two holes there. We've got a smaller one and a bigger one. We're gonna be putting one of these sort of like, um, tabs on it and we're going to be securing these wires that we've just posted through here including the black one in between those wires just like that to hold them in so that's what i'm going to be doing let's uh, just try and find uh my bits <laughs> okay so we've got one of these we're going to need a ap screw in the small side which i'm going to load up the screwdriver now whoops APs are smaller actually, so get the AP screw in there. Making sure. All right, okay, and we're going to start this up on this section here. So if I hold that that way and get the screw in there, I'm not putting the cables in yet because it's going to be fiddly. I'll get one end in. It's going to be very fiddly by the look of it. I'll get one end in and then I will put the other end in. So first end. Excellent, and that's the AP in. So that's those three cables are now secured at the back there. And we've got them hanging out the uh, front here. Okay, so that was step four. Step five, we're gonna be putting in two more cables. Oh my God, uh, which are basically two 49s again. So these are again, two black cables that we've got here uh, with the plastic ends gonna be going out the back. So quite a thick, chunky lot of cables we're gonna be having there. Somehow, I've got to thread this in here again so uh, it comes out the other side. I don't know if I've got any room for this now. It's getting hard. I'm just trying to move some stuff around so I can get things in there, but uh, perhaps I'll try one at a time again. Oh, is that good? Yep, we've got one in. So that's one in. Let's try the second one. We are running out of room severely here. Oh, we've got the second one through as well. So let's get that one out. Ooh. Move my... Uh, wires around there excellent i think we are going to be dressing these wires again afterwards but uh okay so we've got two bits of these black ones coming through here what happens then once they're through step five we're going to be securing these uh, let's show you again on the back if you can see this uh we're going to be securing these on the top there 
Uh, I've just realised my camcorder is going to run out again, so I'm going to have to uh, stop the tape and then start again. Okay, while it's copying all my stuff to the thing, I can still get on with this because I don't need that camera. Uh, this time we're going to be using the uh, smaller of these tab things, the smaller ones here. Uh, it's going to be held in with just one AP screw, uh, but this is going to be a pain, but it is going in. Um, let me just move my mouse over here. It's going to be going into these two bits here. So hopefully if they haven't fallen out, no, they haven't fallen out, we'll get the two bits together here. Now they've secured it going from the bottom upwards so a little bit like that there that's actually just uh put itself lovely in there and uh the screw will be going into the side nearest to the circle thing so the bigger hole there will have the little lip thing in it just like that and then we're going to be put in it stays there stay perfect no it's not in <laughs> i hate how fiddly these are right in like that then we're going to be putting an ap screw in that other hole. I still don't think that's in, you know. I'm gonna have a check in a second. But let's make sure. So tighten that nice and tight. Yay! I can't believe that worked. Right, there we go. Sorry about the uh, muck around for that. So the next stage we're going to do is we've got all of these together now, just like that. And again, I'm gonna show you on the other camera as well, uh, because there is a whole heap of wires there. These are now gonna be running alongside this unit here and it's going to be going above the um seat belt there but what they want us to do in uh, step seven and eight is to put a cable tie around them and as i said i'm not using cable ties so i'm going to put this in the higgledy piggledy mess that it wants me to put these in uh, and i'm going to put them uh, it's hard for you to see i'm probably going to just keep trying to use this side camera here uh, it's going to be putting down there and i'm going to put some uh, filament line around that so that we can uh, get these tied off uh, hopefully Somewhere I've got my uh, trusty little cutter. I haven't put anything away, so it's got to be somewhere around here. See, you can do whatever you want with this thing. <laughs> Whoops, daisies. Let's uh, just cut that. Right, and I will put, said, keep them batched up like that. We'll put another one just there, I reckon. It's not going to hurt. <laughs> I sound like Bob Ross, don't I? Right, okay, so we'll get that one in just like so. Whoops, get in there. There we go, just like so. Perfect, nice and tight. And again, I'll tie that there again. And we'll get my trusty now clippers. And trim one and two. Now the advantage with these, as I said, is that I can turn these little things around when I put it in where I actually want it to go and turn the knots around so you won't actually see the knots all you're going to see is the uh, white sort of uh, cable the clear cable but that was steps seven eight nine and ten oh they did put the second one in ten as well so uh, I, I jumped ahead then um, so what we're doing now we're going to put this to one side just for a second because they want me to connect cables 49G and H together I believe H is the uh, black cable here that we didn't have any ends on so it wants us to put these two together just like that and it wants me to put three cable ties down the run so we're going to be tying three of my monofilament line here uh, to keep these cables all together so let's do that now perfecto lovely tie a one more knot and then i'll cut the excess off of this one this was quite a long bit to do for just one stage there we go i suppose if you are using cable ties then uh, that will be the way to go right there is something that i i will be doing just so you know um i'm probably going to be breaking this one apart again because the black cable oh, i've just completely broke it apart there because the uh black cable in there I'm going to be taking out and replacing it with, uh, hopefully, um, a bass guitar, low low string, uh, the really thick strings, because uh, the actual pipe that goes through there has got a little bit of texture to it, and uh, I want to keep that sort of texture on here, so uh, I will probably will replace the black one in here eventually as a mod with the uh, the other one. And as you can saw, how easy it was to cut the... Uh, cut this monofilament line off I, I'm gonna have the comfort of being able to do that quite easily uh, but I've got to order that I haven't even ordered that to be honest with you so that will be coming soon once that's off that's those two bits off so that was step 11 done now step 12 
looking like that. Step 12, we're going to be putting this on the vehicle. Now, this is going down the other side of the vehicle. So we've got one going down here, just like that. This one's going to be going down this side here. Uh, again, the black uh, bit with the bit end on there is going to be coming out this end. So we're going to want to thread this through. It's probably better to bring it through the back, actually. Uh, through the back, coming out the front. Let's hopefully, let's see if this goes in nicely. <laughs> you just know it's not. It's like, no. Nope. nope, we're not going to do that. I can kind of see it. There we go. Now, you've got the added uh, joy of having the pedals around here, so they're getting in the way a little bit. But there we go. We got them through. So we'll get all of these bits through. That's going to be going down there. And we're going to be attaching this at the back again, uh, just to keeping it down. Uh, to these two, let's show you again. We're going to be putting these down to the holes that we have. Where are they? Uh, oh, just there. Can you see those holes there? So these two are going to be going into those two holes there and there. Just like so. Okay, these are going to be held in with AP and GP screws again. So one side is bigger than the other. Just having another quick look at how they are. Yep, the, the smaller one is the one on the right. And this is going to be fiddly again. <laughs> So let's get these in and get one of these points on. So we'll put the AP screw in first. Perfect. Right. That one's in. We've got all the wires coming out that we need to. Yep, that's perfect. So we'll get this last one in here as well. So that's nice and tight. Excellent. So that was steps uh, 14. Now, step 15, uh, some of these cables that we had here, it wants me to secure these down as well, which won't be a problem. We've got our little bit here. And again, it's an AP screw on the left and a GP screw on the right. Let's just get some more GPs out. I'm going to put the GP in first this time. Uh, this will be step 15. I wouldn't normally have to do this bit because obviously I use the cable tie, which is holding it in anyway. But uh, because the instruction said to do it, we're going to do it. So we've done that. We've got to do the same on that end. I am going to cut away because I appear to be missing one. And we're back. I found it again. <laughs> so this one now is going to be going into... Uh, just looking at that end there. Yeah, that's okay. Um, we're going to be pinning this down with a GP screw again. Load this up. Uh, this will be step 16. This is the last step on this stage. And tighten these up. <laughs> Oh, what a pain in the ass issue that was. Okay, so let's have a look how we're looking now. So we've got that in like that. We've got this in like that. We've got the cables coming out the back. We've got this, which is going to be going down this side of the vehicle, like so, I'm guessing. We've got this going down this side of the vehicle, like so, I'm guessing. Although we do want it wrapped not so far near that accelerator pedal, I have to say. I'm not quite sure how that's going to be, but we'll have to see that. I'm guessing it just runs alongside the top of this unit, actually, just like this and that. I don't know if you could see that. So we'll have, let me show you in this camera. We're going to have probably this section here. I mean, the seats are going to hold them in. It's going to run across one side just like that. And on the other side here, we'll have this bit here kind of running alongside the edge. I don't know, like that, something like that. But yeah, this issue's been uh, pretty fiddly. I don't think it needed to be that fiddly, but uh, hopefully in post-production, it seems like it was a breeze. <laughs> to see what you think about that. Anyway, look, that was issue 49. Issue 50, we get to start putting the seats in. Look, uh, let's hopefully you can see that. Look, seats. We've got seats. We're going to start putting the seats in. Hope you like that video. Take care.